guys, it's Will from Tested. I'm at CES 2015 at the Ultimaker stand at Pop Pepcom, and I'm here with Sirt Vidja, and he's gonna tell us about uh, the new Ultimaker 2 line, I guess. Now you have three printers. Yes, we decided to extend not just uh, the machine, but we made a family of products right now. We got so many questions from people in our community. We want to print bigger, or uh, we want to have a cheaper printer. So what we decided is we have an outstanding machine, which is our Ultimaker 2. So what we decided was to make an Ultimaker 2 extended, which is taller. Okay, same build platform size. Same build platform size, we made it taller. And what we also did was we made it smaller, so it's the Ultimaker 2 Go. So the, and the Go is no heated build platform, is the only difference really other yeah, than the size? Yeah, exactly. But what we designed for the Ultimaker 2 Go is packaging that you don't throw away, but you can use it to carry it. Oh, cool! So you can take it with you when you exactly. go to work, to because home, or school, I, I whatever. carry them always, and I think the Ultimate Two still too heavy. <laughs> <laughs> the Ultimate Two Go, you really take it up and take it with you, and share it with your friends. One of, my, one of my favorite hacks for my little printer at home is a handle I put yeah, on the top, yeah, so I yeah, just yeah. carry it back and forth to work. Definitely. Um, your your chassis for the Ultimate Twos are steel and plexiglass. Is that right? Sorry, our What's the material for the chassis on the Ultimaker 2? It's a kind of an aluminum with a PE inside. Okay. It's, uh, it's called D-Bond. It's a sandwich panel. Okay. So it doesn't flex much? It doesn't flex much and it has very nice uh, finishing. They're, they're very pretty printers. Thank um, you. Are you based on a, an open platform or are you a uh, closed platform that you design yourself? No, 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 no. We are open. Okay. Um, our files from the Ultimaker 2 are already online and uh, after six months we will release the files as well of the Ultimaker 2 extended and the Ultimaker 2 Go. For the chassis and the, and the mechanism the and, and the yes. uh, electronics as well? Yes, oh, yes that's awesome. we will. We believe in open source, we believe in sharing. Uh, we don't believe in patents, it's outdated. It's a, It doesn't work anymore, the world has changed. It's, it's fair, especially in something that's moving as fast as 3D printing. Yes. Um, so you're, uh, you're an FDM printer, obviously. Yes. Uh, what's your, what kind of filament do you use? What's your resolution like? How fast does it print? We can crank it up until 300 millimeters per second. Layer-wise, you can go down to 20 microns. The material that we use is basically PLA, mm -hmm. but you can also use ABS or PETG or... Basically, you can put in what you like. I can't guarantee it's always working. They are made out clogged, that's up to you. Though. Yeah, exactly. But we, we, we don't have a cartridge model. You can buy stuff that is on the market. You can go to Amazon, buy your $35 yes. kilo of, yeah. of plastic, that's great. But it's, it's a 2.8 millimeter plastic going in? Yeah, it's 2.85, yes. So why the 2.85 instead of 1.75? The results don't differ that much, and it has advantages over the 1.75. If you try uh, to print something with a flexible material, if you have 1.75, it's so thin, it will end up all over your machine from the extruder, uh, but not where you want to have it, because it curls up everywhere. With a three millimeter filament, you are able to print it. So, uh, and uh, quality-wise, we've done a, a, a hell of a job. Mm -hmm. It prints that good that we don't see the difference. So, um, the software is the part of the 3D printers that nobody ever talks about. Yeah. What, what are, what's your software stack like? We have Cura. Um, uh, it's one of the biggest used open source programs out there. We are yeah, opening it up. It's open source again. It comes free with a printer. It's very powerful, but it's also very easy. So it's easy when you don't want to do a lot of stuff, but if you want to open up all the, all the, all the parameters, you can. And, and, and since you're using Cura, you're compatible with Octoprint and all that, all oh, yeah, the kind of yeah. open source print servers yes, as well? Yeah. Very cool. Um, uh, last question I'll get out of your hair. Yeah. What's pricing for the two new models and the Ultimaker um, 2, rather? The normal Ultimaker 2 is 1895 euros, excluding fat. Okay. The Ultimaker 2 Go is 1195 and the Ultimaker 2 Extended is 2495 and, excluding tax. And you guys have US distribution now, which I think is relatively new, right? Yes, we are uh, quite picky in who and who not, but we are building it. Uh, we have a few in the US already, Okay. and we are building it up as we go worldwide right now. Beautiful. It looks great. Is this your first time at CES with the printer? Yes, we are, it's our first time at a CES. Oh, very cool. Thank you. Well, we'll come to see you on the floor, but it was great to meet Please you. Please do so. Thank Cheers. you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And we'll have more from CES 2015 on Tested soon. See you guys later.